Welcome to Make with H2O. Today, we're going to talk about how you can upload your own wave apps into the H2O AI cloud. As a prerequisite to this tutorial, you need to both have access to the H2O AI cloud, but also you need to have upload permissions. If you run into any issues trying to follow these steps, please contact your system administrator to ensure that you're able to upload your own applications. We're going to start by looking at what is required in our app source code to upload an app into the H2O AI cloud. If I'm running an app on my local machine, the only thing I really need is to have the Python libraries I needed installed and to have my app source code. This is a very simple application that when I run it, it has one giant card in the center of the screen that says this is a test. Once I have my app ready and I want to publish it into the AI cloud, there's a couple other files that I'm going to need. One is a requirements file, which tells the AI cloud what files to install in the virtual environment. In this case, all I need is H2O Wave. I'm also going to need a file called app.toml. This is a configuration file that tells the H2O AI cloud how to present your app to end users and also how to run it. This file is going to have things like where is the source code? For example, my app code is in a folder called source and a file called app, but this will change for your apps. We also have things like the title of what we want to present to end users, and this file also does configurations like app secrets and whether or not we need users to sign in to use the app. Once we have these three files, we're able to upload our app into the H2O AI cloud. We're going to start by doing this from the user interface. I'm going to click on My Apps and Import New App. Now, this import is looking for a zipped file. So let's open up our browser. And we're going to zip up our files. As a quick note, especially if you're on Mac, make sure that we're not zipping up the folder. We want to click our individual files that we're interested in compressing. The name of this folder doesn't matter. Everything we'll be looking at this TOML file. So we can now drag and drop this to the UI. And we only have to make one decision. Do we want to make this private to ourselves or let all other users see it? I'm going to start with private so I can do some testing. After the app has been imported, we can see it in the apps page. This will have all the apps that I personally own, and I can do things like understand how they're tagged and also change the visibility when we're ready. I'm going to go to the apps details page. This has my app title and subtitle, and if we had included any markdown, a description text, or any screenshots, they would be on this page. I'm going to click Run so that we can test our app and see if it's working as we expect it to. Let's click Visit to see our app. And as expected, we have one giant card with our This is a Text. Everything looks good. All right, if we go back to the AI Cloud and we go to the App Store, and search for our app, we can see it's not here because it's private. We can only find it in the My Apps. But everything's working as expected, so I'm going to click on Visibility and make it available to all users. Now when I go to the App Store, I can see it right there, ready to be used. In addition to using the user interface, we can also, also upload apps using the command line tool H2O. To configure our tool, we're going to click on our name and click CLI and API access. This gives you all the information you need to configure your CLI and also explains how to do that. I've configured mine ahead of time. So I am inside my app directory and I have my files. I don't actually need the archive ahead of time to upload from the CLI. It will handle automatically for me. All I need is my requirements, my app toml, and my source code. And to upload the app, all we do is say H2O bundle import. And this will take my app and put it inside the AI cloud. The default functionality will be that it is private to me, but if I wanted, I could say that I want the visibility to be all users. Now, I've already updated this specific version of the app into the cloud, so I'm not going to run this command. But if we made any changes and wanted to uh, run it from the CLI, we could. We hope this has been helpful in learning how to upload your own apps into the app cloud, and we look forward to seeing what you make.